Hi there, Chris here. So I have this little Squire padlock. And it is a number 35, I think. Let's see. Maybe that's too much. Yes, it's a 35. I like the key. Um, not too tough bidding. It has quite a strong spring to turn the core once you've picked it. And a really nice snap. So I thought I would try on this one <coughs> the Rook Knight Covert Tool. And I'm going to demonstrate the holding of it in the flying V pattern. So when you do that, you want to spread it out like that and pick it like this. So let's see if we can get this little squire. So I'll use top of the keyway tension and pick up my flying V and see if we can't, see if we can get an open here. I'm using the short hook on here. Now these are just stock um, stock profiles from Southward. They are really just replacement for replacement picks for their jackknife. Bit of a tough pick. Should be able to get it. And it's kind of like 1100 on American 1100. Once you get the core to turn, you need to put a lot of pressure on turning it to get that open. So there you go. Once again, the Rook Knight Covert Do It Yourself Lock Picking Tool. And there's many ways to hold it. This one was, like I say, the flying V technique. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe, leave a comment, uh, ask a question, and we will see you next time.